Chad with Drive to Lightning, the positively charged EV channel. There is one thing that a lot of us have been waiting to see from Aptera, and that's some sort of indication that the solar panels are taking electricity and putting it into the batteries. From the UI, the screen, you know, the user interface that's on the screen in the car. And finally, we got a glance of that thanks to Jerry, who, with his wife Helen, recently went to Carlsbad to visit Aptera. They got a ride in Gamma. They saw the battery pack layouts. They saw all kinds of things that they can't share. And Jerry finally got a look at this interface. So I'm going to show you what he saw. Now keep in mind, when you're shooting in the wild, you can't always know what the glare is going to look like when it comes out. So be kind. Jerry did a great job with this footage, but you can't control sun glare sometimes. But we'll freeze it, and I'll show you what it looks like, and we'll see what we can determine. So here you go. You see, this is the main screen in the middle. and I know you can see Jerry's phone in there, but let's freeze it a moment. And, and when you look at this picture here, this is just a, a freeze frame from that video. You can see on the left it says the roof is bringing in 104 watts, and the dash is bringing in 56 watts. And then if you really look close, you can see they're lit up in green. So that's the way we can expect it to look. And it's showing us, yes, we're getting power here and here. Now the hood on the Gamma right now today doesn't have any um, panels on it. And the hatch doesn't have any panels on it because they redesigned that a little bit for the Delta. And the Delta will be full solar. And that's where most of our juice will come from, will be the solar on that hatch. So, but this is pretty interesting when well, you got 160 watts coming in here on a sunny California day from just the dashboard and the roof. And he said some more footage too so we can see what these panels look like actually on the car. You can see here the roof, that's beautiful. Uh, those gorgeous solar panels just suck it in energy. And look at the dashboard. This is just beautiful the way these panels came together on the dashboard. I'm going to show you the rest of that video later. Jerry shot it in 360 with his 360 camera so it's global but I don't have the ability to edit that. But I'm going to show you what he sent me anyway so you can see that. But thank you, Jerry, for sharing this video and this information. This is exciting for us to see. We certainly look forward to the rest as more and more information comes out about our Aptera solar electric vehicle of the future that's coming today. Thank you to the Mug Club, you mugs, my mugs, so Sarah and I can get back to San Diego for some in-person coverage very soon, we hope. We thank you very much for that. If you want to be a member of the Mug Club, Go to drivenbysolar.com, buy a mug, which is way overpriced, and we'll put the uh, profits toward going to San Diego for more footage. Thank you. Hi, this is Jerry and Helen from Chico, California, and we're answering the question, why Aptera? Number one, it's just a super cool, futuristic, sci-fi looking car. What's there not to like about a car like that? Number two, you gotta love the hyper-efficiency, three times more efficient than any other EV, which means it's gonna be way cheaper to own and operate. And number three, their mission statement, their ethos, we need more companies like Aptera in the world. 
and hopefully other car manufacturers are going to follow suit and this is going to be the start of a bigger trend and last but not least the great people that work at Aptera they're super cool super smart super funny super fun to hang out with and uh, also it's just going to be a fun fun car to drive all that